Hi, Fatima, Virginia. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm doing really good. Yeah, it's Monday. We're starting the new week. <laughs> it's difficult yeah. to start yeah, on Monday. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Do you work? Yes, I do. Oh, nice. That's nice. What do you do? I am an auditor. Mm -hmm. Good. Like what kind? Uh, what? Uh, what kind of uh, like... Uh, Out. Uh-huh. In the customs. Uh, custom service. Oh, nice. No, uh, no. border the aduana. Ah, uh, got it. Costumes, nice uh, at the border. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> yeah, that's good. How are you doing, Anna? Hi. 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 Good. How are you doing? I'm working. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the life. But, but I'm ready. But I'm ready to begin the class. It's not nice. Yeah, my, my work. <laughs> Did you get a haircut? Sorry? Did you get a haircut? Yeah. Nice. It looks nice. Thanks. <laughs> you feel it too short? It's short, uh, but uh, today I don't iron because it's... <laughs> too, no, it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. How are you doing, Ernesto and Elena? When? Well, Roy, Roelma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi. My name is Darner. <laughs> uh, we talk with Elena. Uh huh. As for the time to finish the platform, uh, he, he told us he, we have us until until noon. This Tomorrow? Day. No, this day. Así dijo ella, así que. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they, that's why I texted you because uh, I know they they push us every day to <laughs> yeah yes. to push you mm -hmm. to be working on things. So, yeah. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. I know it is not easy when you are working. You have. Uh, tons of things to do and it is hard it is a uh, sacrifice actually because you come really uh, tired and you don't want to know not anything about uh, things but yeah you have to work hard <laughs> yes because th this time is because for the project the timing project is 10 10 hours no no day the boss oh. is, is Tiene sus cosas el jefe, entonces se le ocurrieron uh -huh. de, de trabajo. Entonces no nos alcanza, no nos alcanza el día. Sí, tienen razón. <laughs> sí. That's why I don't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is like, it's really, I don't like to be without working, but uh, now that uh, I have to be here. I have to do it, but I don't think I can do it for the rest of my life. <laughs> yes, it's a better working in in lo que nos gusta, pues, working mm -hmm. in the line we like. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but if you need any help, just let me know and then I can do something. Yes, Royal. Sonido te falta. Hola. 
Ahí está. <laughs> okay. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Good evening, mm -hmm. teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening. How are you doing? Good? Good, teacher. That's Can nice. You? I'm doing good. Yeah. It was a busy weekend. Ah. Really busy. Why? Yeah. Uh, because I have a nun that uh, she has a dog and the dog got sick. And she's, she uh, was really used to the dog because she lives by herself. And then I have to make the decision to put him to sleep. So it was a, like a hard I decision know. for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know it's like, uh, for me, it is sometimes some people is too much about pets, but she um, was uh, like, uh, like the dog was uh, like my aunt's son because uh, that's the only thing that she had. It was casi, no le, casi no le entendí, pero me sorprendió lo que dijo. Ay. Ah, no, es que ajá, mi tía tenía el perrito que es como, era como su hijo para ella porque vive solita. Okay. Entonces no, no tenía el valor de ponerlo a, a descansar. Sí. Entonces me tocó tomar la decisión por ella. Yo pensé que, ajá, pensé que era su mascota. Ajá, por eso dije. No. <ríe> Ay, no, yeah. sí, sí. It sí, was easy que... for me. Mm -hmm. Sí. That's why I don't have any pets. Por eso sí. no tengo mascotas porque es súper difícil. ¿Y cuántos años tiene? ¿El perrito mm, o qué? El perrito tenía nueve años, casi diez. No estaba tan mayor. Diez a once años. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Ay, <laughs> pero pobrecita su tía. Sí. Sí. But hopefully she gets better. Hmm. Sí. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're going to start the class. And we're going to make a review today of uh, the test, the final test. And if you have any other questions, we're going to do it. And also, we're going to make a review of the simple present because I know it's not easy. And we're going to see a little bit of, about scenes and for how do we use those two words. Okay, but uh, uh, let me see. I didn't say hi to Harold, Edwin, Herson, Herbert, Joanna, and Fatima Imperatriz, and Astrid, and Fatima Abigail. Hi to everybody, and thank you for being in the class. And thank you for working in the platform. I know it's not easy, but um, it's important. Okay. We're going to do a review first about um, this one. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, today is, which day is today? Monday, Monday. August 16th. 2021. Okay, but I want to ask, do you remember how to, um, the structure of the present perfect? ¿Alguien se acuerda de la estructura del presente perfecto? ¿Qué va primero? Subject. Present perfect. Mm -hmm. What do we write? Subject. In the affirmative form. Oh, are you there? Auxiliary. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which verse do we use? ¿Qué verbo usamos? Have. Have. It has. Uh -huh. and it has. And then what do we use? 
The bird in the burning past participant. Exactly. And then the complement. Good. Okay. So today, I think some of you already see the word since and for on the exercise, and there is a video too. And then we have since plus a point in time. That's when we use uh, since. For example, since five, five o'clock, since yesterday, I haven't eaten um dinner since yesterday i haven't gone to the beach since last summer or i haven't gone to visit my dad since 1969 i haven't gone to where i was born since what i was a child so those are uh how we use scenes and then we have four and it's the same use for simple present and simple past. For example, we have four plus a length of time. For example, for 10 minutes, for two days, for three decades, or for three years, for many years, for a long time. So that's how we use since and how do we, we use for. Okay. You want me to leave it there for a bit? Lo dejo por un ratito. Okay, now we're gonna go in. Okay, so we can say together. Can you help me together? Since five o'clock. You can repeat. Puedes repetir. Uh -huh. Since. Since. Five, five o'clock. Since yesterday. Since yesterday. Since yeah. last summer. Since last, last, last summer. summer. Last summer. Mm -hmm. Since 1996. Since 1996. 1996. 1996. Mm -hmm. Since he was a child. He was a child. He was, he, was a a child. Child. he was a child. He was a child. Perfect. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. For two weeks. For two no weeks. Ahí. For two Pero weeks. podemos decir, uh -huh. for two days. For, for two for days. days. For three decades. For, for three decades. Ajá, esas son décadas. Por tres décadas, por veinte décadas, por las que quedamos. That's for just... many years. Don't me va el lapicero. Teacher, repeat Takius, please. Mm. For... for many years. Takius is correct. Wait a second. Decades. 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 Good. For many years. For, for many, many years. years. For a long time. For a long time. Uh -huh. long, for a long, long time. time. Uh -huh. Cuando no sabemos, solo ha sido por un largo tiempo, pero no sabemos el tiempo específico. Okay, good. Uh, now, it says using since. Use the present perfect with since plus point in time to show when something started. Es decir, que usamos el presente perfecto con el since desde más un periodo de tiempo, un punto determinado para enseñar, para mostrar cuándo algo inició. Como por ejemplo, it says, Bill Gates has written several books since 1990. Uh, 70, 1975. So this is a peer, a point in time. It was which year? ¿Qué año fue? 1975. Mm -hmm. So that's why we, we use since. Cuando tenemos un año, 
vamos a usar since 1975, since uh, 2014, since uh, 1988. So usamos since, cuando usamos el año. Porque tenemos un punto específico de tiempo, como en este. Ok, then we have another example that we can use since in present perfect and simple past. Um, can you please help me reading? Um, let's see. Let's see who can help me. Um, Edwin. Me? Yes, teacher. Can you please help me reading the sentence, please? Yes. He has okay. lived there since he was a child. Mm -hmm. Good job. Um, can you choose another person to read the other one? Puedes escoger a una persona más para leer el, la siguiente, por favor. Okay, Ernesto Arturo. Ernesto. He lived Ernest. there since he lived there since since, since, since? he was a child. Since, since he lived mm -hmm. there since he was since. a child. Mm -hmm. Ajá, since. since es como que le quitemos la e. Since. Since mm -hmm. he lived mm -hmm. there since he was mm -hmm. a child. Since mm -hmm. he was a child. Good job. So this is the expression that we um, use and we can use for both. Cuando usamos sí, since he was born, he, since he was a child. So tenemos que usar since. Ahora for. We can read it together. Use for. Use for. Has length for. of time. Length of time. Of time. Of time. To show how long. To show, to show how, how long. long. Something has, has lasted. Something, Something has, has lasted. Lasted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. lasted. What is the meaning of lasted? Como cuánto tiempo ha, como, como le digo, has lasted significa como cuánto tiempo ha durado. Y él significa que no ha terminado, pero es como un periodo de tiempo. Porque, quiero ver si something has lasted. Bueno, no, este es un periodo de tiempo. Por ejemplo, for the, the last three decades, ha estado por un periodo de tres décadas. Entonces, ¿cuánto tiempo ha durado? Es la duración. Eso significa lasting. To show how long something has lasted. Como cuánto tiempo ha durado. En este caso, dice, millions of people have used gates for the last three decades. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, it has been for the last three decades. Es un periodo de tiempo. Y es específico, dice, tres décadas. Ha durado por tres décadas. Como, por ejemplo, el periodo de... Un presidente. How long has been, uh, uh, I don't know, what, well, Nayib? Yeah. In the presidency. Uh -huh. So, for how many years? ¿Cuántos años? For five, five years. years. Uh -huh. So, the presidency of uh, um, uh, Nayib is going to last for um, five years. So that's uh, how long it's going to last. And when that happens, it's going to be like uh, has lasted. Cuánto tiempo duró o ha durado. Okay. Okay, now uh, we can read it together. He has worked. He has worked. He has worked. He was there. He worked there. There. For many years. For many, many things. Mm -hmm. yes. For many. For many Él years. ha estado trabajando ahí por muchos años. Entonces no decimos since many years, decimos por muchos años, porque es un periodo de tiempo que él ha durado trabajando. Y lo podemos usar para el simple past. He worked there for many years. 
Es decir, él trabajó ahí por muchos años. Gonna go to the exercises. Now we're gonna do the exercises together. Okay, we're gonna choose which one it goes. And the first one, uh, can you help me, Eugenia, to read the first one? Please. Okay. Pam was in Central America for a month last year. Mm -hmm. For a month. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué decimos por un mes y no since a month? Because it's one month. Porque ya está definido el tiempo. No dice mm -hmm. el test. For a month. Uh -huh. Ajá. No es desde, desde un mes el año pasado, sino que Pan was in Central America for a month. Por un mes. El año pasado. Good. Okay. And the second one. Choose one person, Eugenia, please. Escoge una persona. Ernesto Arturo. Eh, Ernesto Arturo was... already participated. Another person. <laughs> Otra lucky. persona que no haya participado. Uh, uh, <laughs> let me see. Yeah, go and check. Ana Guerra. Ana hey. Guerra, your turn. Okay. I've, I've been a college student uh, for almost four years. Mm -hmm. It is four. Should we use since almost four years? No, verdad. De decimos no. por. Casi, casi cuatro, cuatro años. años. Uh -huh. Porque si no digo desde casi cuatro años, entonces ese no, no, no tiene es correcto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Escoja una persona, Ana, por favor. Ok. Vamos a ver. Hiroshi. Dora Mary. <risa> hey, Dora Mary. Hiroshi. Mm. Ready, Dora Mary? Lista? Oops. Ana, escoja a alguien porque no, no puedo ver a Dora Mary. Escoja a alguien más. Mi teacher, Jorge. En Maida. Okay, Jorge. Ok. Eh. Ah, oh. Jorge dijo que la va a hacer. Gracias, okay. Ana. Después en Neida. Uh -huh. Voy a ver si la Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. Perfect. 6 a.m. Uh -huh. Since. Uh -huh. Hiroshi, Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. No decimos for 6 a.m. Actually, that doesn't sound good. Si decimos for 6 a.m., no suena bien tampoco. No tiene, uh, no se escucha bien. Ok. Um, Eneida, number four, please. I haven't, I haven't go, gone to a party for a long time. Mm -hmm. For a long time. Good job. Mm -hmm. Good job. The next one, can you choose another person, Neda, please? Fatima Virginia. Fatima Virginia, number five. Just live in Venezuela uh, since two years as a kid. No, for Thank two you. years What's as a kid. Uh -huh. For two years for, as a kid. Yeah, for two years. Mm -hmm. For two years as a kid. As Josh a kid. vivió 
en Venezuela por dos años cuando era un niño. Ok, good. Questions about that? Preguntas. Can I go to the next one? Sí, no, maybe. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to go to the next one. Clear all growing then. It says, um, who was the last one? Fatima, Virginia, can you choose another person, please? Mm -hmm. Joanna. Joanna, please. Number six. Okay, my parents have have been on vacation since Monday. Uh -huh. On vacation, perfect. Since Monday or since last week or since last year can be different ones. Um Joanna, please choose another person. Escoja otra persona, por favor, Joanna. Let me see. Um, Esmeralda Carolina. Thank you. Esmeralda Natalie, Carolina. Natalie West End. No, no sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra. <laughs> Engage. Engage. To uh -huh. Danny. Uh -huh. To Danny. For, for six uh -huh. months. Exactly, for six months. Good. Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. Cuando se comprometen que le dan el anillo. Ahí es. <laughs> okay, good. And just another person. Please, escoja otra persona, por favor. Um, to do number eight. Eh, me, Jorge, si gusta. Okay, go ahead, Jorge. Number eight, va. Uh -huh. eh, yes. Pac and Valerie have been best friends eh, since eight school. High school. High school. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you, Jorge. Has been best friends since high school. Mm -hmm. Since high school. Okay. Good. Jorge, choose another person, please. Uh, ahorita, quiero. Gracias. Uh, thank you. Ernesto. Ah, el más popular. Sí. Yes, how popular Ernesto. Está fácil, está fácil. We have been in class since five and a half ten p.m. Five thirty p.m. Mhm. Mm since. Mhm. Thirty. Thirty p.m. Mhm. Mm It's hard to say. Escoja a alguien, Ernesto, por favor. Herbert. Herbert. Number 10, please. The babies have cried for 30 minutes. Uh -huh. For For 30 minutes. Uh -huh. Good, 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 good. Okay, now we are going to go back and I'm going to make the review of the test. So we already did a scenes and four. We're gonna start with the review of the test. Okay, questions about it, preguntas? ¿Hay preguntas sobre no, esto? Pues, ¿Podemos sí. seguir con el, con el test? Final exam. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, so this is the listening and what we have to do is to listen a conversation and then we have to click on the correct answer. So I hope you can listen. So we're going to do it together as a group to help each other. Probably you already did it, but then um, we're going to help each other. So we're going to read the questions first, then we have an idea of what they are going to ask. So first, the instructions. So we have listen to the conversation and click to the correct information. Vamos a escuchar las conversaciones y vamos a marcar la respuesta correcta. So number one, it says, Emily is short and in her 30s. Emily is medium height and in her 20s. Emily is fairly short and about 25. Okay, that's the first one. We read first to have an idea what is going to be. So what is what do you think according to the sentences? What is the the listening uh, the listening gonna be about? De qué se va a tratar el listening de acuerdo a las preguntas a las respuestas que tenemos? ¿De qué creen? Ajá, de de edades. Ajá, uh -huh. appearance. Descripción de personas. Uh -huh. Ok, perfect. Entonces, Steve has blue eyes and black hair. Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. Steve is only 29 years old and handsome. So that's the number two. Number three, the thief was short, had a white beard, and was elderly. The thief had on a black shirt and glasses. The thief had lunch with Mr. Brown in the cafe. So, and the number four it says, AJ and Penny are sitting on the couch and talking to Tom. AJ and Penny are both wearing jeans and red sweater. AJ and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the couch. So we have those and we're going to listen. Are you ready to listen? Listos para escuchar? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. I hope it works. Espero que me funcione. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me, I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. Two. Sarah, did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? Okay. Let's see. Number one, which would be number one, the questions? Emily is short and in her 30s? Is that the answer? The last, Emily is fairly short and about 25. Is everybody in agreement with Edwin? Están de acuerdo con Edwin, que es la número tres? Yes. Yes, it's number three. You're right. Now we're going to le continue listening to the rest. Can you hear well? Pueden escuchar bien? Yes. How many? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Yes, did Thank you. you. No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. And he's tall, really tall. He's over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is, and he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes, that's right. Three. All right, Mr. Okay, number two. Steve has blue eyes and black hair. 
No, yes or not? An option. Uh -huh. Is Steve is really Echo. tall? Really uh -huh. tall and has curly and has... hair. Mm -hmm. Why is not number three? Steve is only 29 years old and handsome. ¿Por qué no es la número, la número tres? Digamos que es uno, dos y tres. ¿Por qué no será la número tres? Es cierto que dice que es because, because he, he has really tall too. And has blonde hair. Uh -huh. And he is 19 years old or around 19 years old, I think. And he's okay. handsome. <laughs> okay. So he's handsome, but he's not he, this age. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's number two. Good. Wanna go to the next one? Ready? Mr. Brown, tell me again what happened here. Thank you, officer. I told you, the man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean, how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red t-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. So, I think it was short, had a white beard, and was elder, is that true? Right. Yes. He had on a black shirt and glasses. No. 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 What color was the, the, the shirt that he was wearing? It was one red. It was red. Mm -hmm. So the answer is one, two, or three. One. 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 Number, mm -hmm. number one. Yeah. Yeah. The thief was like really oh. short and five feet and something and had a, a white beard, barba, and it was elder. It was about 70 years, according to what they said. Tenía más o menos 70 años. Good. Really? Now we're going to go to the next one. Hi, I'm new here. My name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to our school party. Do you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them. Thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about our homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. Okay. AJ and Penny are sitting on the couch and talking to Tom? No. 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 no AJ and... Okay. AJ and Penny are both wearing jeans and a red sweater? No. No. Yes. No. no. AJ and Penny are the attractive, cu attractive couples sitting on the couch? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, they are. That was Claire wearing jeans. Claire, that was uh, that she wanted to ask for the homework. Okay, good. So those are the answers for the listening. Any questions about this? Listenings are hard. Listenings are not easy, but it's like because we're not used to uh, listening to people speaking English is just us or uh, the teacher, but it's not easy. So no worries if you sometimes you think, oh my, I don't understand anything. What are they saying? So don't get frustrated. Okay, next one is... Um, We have to complete this, this conversation. And it says, um, complete the conversations. Use the present perfect of the verbs given in brackets. En este usamos que el presente perfecto. Mm -hmm. Have you, ya sabemos, ¿verdad? Have you 
¿Cómo va el presente been. perfecto de been? Been. Have been. you been? Been. 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 To, any, uh -huh, to any good movie lately. Okay, read it together. Have you been? Have you been? You been? To any good movie lately? To any good, movie. good movie lately? Good. Yes, I have already. So. Sim. Sim. Three films a month. Mm -hmm. Porque me está, Ana Guerra me está pidiendo presente perfecto, no pasado. Mm -hmm. Y el presente perfecto, el, el, el pasado participio es so, sin. Awesome. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, I have already seen three films this month. Good. Questions with this. Preguntas? No. Y miren, tenemos el verbo auxiliar, have, y el sujeto. Tenemos have porque estamos usando el sujeto you. Y been es el verbo en pasado participio y después tenemos el complemento. Complemento. Uh -huh. Good. Now, this one. The verb that we're going to use is have. And here, have. Is, uh -huh, it is a question. How is going to be? Has. 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 Have. Uh -huh. have. Has. 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 Mm -hmm. has. Uh, but it's a, it's a question. Has he? No, had. You're right. Had he uh, ever. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, had. Has. Had he ever eaten? Because we already have this. Had he ever eaten Thai food before? So it's in, it looks like the verb is in past. Had he ever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we are using ever. Had he ever eaten Thai food before? And this one, no, he has never. He has. Uh, he, has hmm? have, have. Uh, he has never have. 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 had mm -hmm. had it in his life. Good. Now with this one, it says read the sentences and choose the uh, correct answer. Lea la, las oraciones y escoja la respuesta correcta. Now a volunteer? Do I have a volunteer? Tengo algún voluntario que me ayude? Que no haya participado? O si ya participó, puede participar. Ah, Ana Guerra. Good. Okay, teacher. I live in Boston for five years. I love it every minute. I was there. Mm -hmm. The answer it is, is I, four. Uh -huh, I live in Boston for four, five, five years. Mm -hmm. Good. I love That's, it every minute. I, was there. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Um, Ana Hercules, the second one, please. Okay. My wife and I have, and I have gone to Costa Rica very Every year, every year, we use four or since 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 two thousand one. Mm -hmm. Dice que um, mi esposa y yo hemos ido a Costa Rica todos los años desde el dos mil uno. Es decir, continúa haciéndolo. Jorge, Jorge, número tres. Please, or do you have a question? All right, teacher. Uh, all right. Number three. Patrick has studied Portuguese uh, for a long time. Mm -hmm. He is a, a good, good speak now. A speaker now. Mm -hmm. For a long time. For good. A long time. 
Okay, good, good. So, can I go to the next? ¿Puedo ir a la siguiente parte? Sí. Yeah. Okay. Part C. Choose the correct answer. Choose, um, read the following sentence and choose the correct word. Vamos a escoger la, dice, lea las siguientes oraciones y escoja la respuesta correcta. Y Jorge, escoja a alguien, por favor, que nos ayude. Choose another, a person that can help us. No, ni de Escoja una, a una persona que no haya participado. Uh, en Eida. En Eida. Okay. My brother is in his training and goes to college in Arizona. Mm -hmm. My brother is in, in his 20s. Mm -hmm. Good job. Uh, Dora Mary, escoja a alguien, por favor. Uh, Tracy. Mm -hmm. uh, Tracy has a short time, black fear and group eight. Mm -hmm. Tracy he has, has, like, has uh -huh. short, a straight right. black hair yes, and then... blue eyes. Eyes. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Um, Eugenia, escoja a alguien. Choose another, a person, please. Or if you want to do it, you can. Okay. Phil's nephew is five feet eight and has dark brown beard and mustache. Mm -hmm. Is. Phil's yes. nephew is mm -hmm. five feet. No puedo decir are. No puedo decir R porque solo está diciendo el sobrino de Phil. Solo es una persona. Is five feet eight and has dark brown beard and mustache. Y no puedo decir has porque no um, cuando decimos cuando decimos la altura decimos is or I am. Okay, good. The next and, one, Astrid. Mm -hmm. Astrid. We haven't heard Astrid today. Hi, teacher. Hi, Astrid. Can you do number four, please? Martin ever missed an appointment. Has Martin ever missed? Uh huh. Missed. An appointment. Good. Thank you. It's missed. An appointment. ¿Alguna vez se ha perdido alguna, alguna cita con el doctor? Appointment es más con doctores. A doctor appointment. Okay. Good. Thank you, Astrid. Escoja a alguien, Astrid, to do number five, please. Elina. Elina, you are the chosen one. Is how many times have you lost your your, your classes, your class. sports, or your cell phone? No. Why? No space. Class. Classes. Uh, cell phone is uh, how many times have you lost your cell phone? ¿Cuántas veces hemos perdido nuestro teléfono? And we are like, oh, ah, lost it for dead, but ah, pues sí, es que eso no lo entendí. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Yeah. Uh -huh. How many times have you lost your cell phone? Sí. Many yeah. times, like almost wow. every day. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. uh, can you choose another person? Please, Roelma. Yo. Sí, escoja una persona. Permítame. 
eh, Dora Mary del Plan Basque. Ella participó. Sí, participó. Ay, santo cielo. Este, Eugenia. Eugenia. Asunción. Ok, okay Eugenia. Your turn. El last one. Okay. 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 Have you ever driving a truck? Driving. Ay, driving. Lo que es driving. Driving. Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque es driving or uh, driven. No, driven. No, no decimos drive o drive. Drive es en presente. Draw mm -hmm. es en pasado. Driven es en pasado participio. Have you ever driven a truck? Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. I have never. Uh -huh. Es un, como una... Um, ¿Cómo le decimos? Trailer o semi. Los pickup también les llaman truck. Camión. Uh -huh. Sí, como, camión. ajá, que les es truck. Uh -huh. oh, ajá. Yeah. You're right. Oh, ok, good. Wanna go to the next one. And it says, rewrite and unscramble the sentences. Directions. Put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. Coloque las palabras en el orden correcto para hacer oraciones mm -hmm. o preguntas. Este es un poco difícil y yo les entiendo. Por ejemplo, yo no pude aquí. Ahí. Sí, sí. Ajá. Pues, Vaya, sí, primero pues, vamos a hacerlo juntos todos. ¿Qué es lo que hacemos primero? ¿Qué buscamos primero? Ayúdenme. Solo, ¿con qué comienza una oración? Subject. Ajá, con un sujeto. Ajá, ahora, ¿cuál sería el sujeto aquí? ¿De quién Christy. está hablando? Cristi. Entonces, uh -huh. Christy. Sí, entonces sería Cristi. Cristi y Ajá, después va el verbo, Christy, Christy puede ser Christy is. is, hay dos formas de hacerlo, uh -huh. Christy is, ¿qué puedo escribir después? Really gorgeous, 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 ajá, Christy is real gorgeous, is real, ajá, Christy is really gorgeous, ¿y qué más? Inger. ¿Qué más tenemos? En, 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 her studies. In, en, en, her, en, 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 her studies. in, her studies. in, 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 Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oops. Entonces, ya no necesitamos ponerle el punto ahí porque ya lo tiene. No lo voy a poner para que no los confunda. Entonces, Christy is really gorgeous. And in her 30s. Me comí el in-t-shirt. Ahorita sí. lo estoy viendo. Ay. It <laughs> happens, so we yeah, have to see. Yeah, I'm mala. And in her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or we can do Christy is in her that is, que podemos como cambiarle. Esto sería Christy is in her that is and is really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Son, uh -huh. Son dos formas de hacerlo. Yes, good. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, those yes. two ways are acceptable. Okay, good. Now, number two. Tenemos One. que... Este es... Question. Uh -huh, es, es una pregunta. Entonces, cuando tenemos preguntas... ¿Con qué comenzamos? Does. Uh, Does. Auxiliary verb. 
el auxiliary verb. Entonces va a ir das. Da, das. Da, da, so da, das. We are. We are. We are. Das. Das. En had a mustache. Mm -hmm. a mustache. Das, voy a marcar lo que ya usé para que me ayude. Das. Some. Pero ahora no me... Das. Some. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, ¿Qué más? Have a mustache. Have. Have. Das. Some. Have. La voy a ir tachando yo, teacher. Vaya. Some. <laughs> Gracias. Yeah. Tengo ahí un ayudante, asistente de maestra. <laughs> das Sam. 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 Das Das Sam. Glass. Glasses en en mustache. En wait a second. En aha. Have a mustache. A mustache. 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 Un mustacho. No, mustache. Pero, pero lo podríamos poner uh -huh. al revés, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses? Sí. Yeah. Pero algunas veces, es de, en veces el sistema es mero, mero tricky. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces sí, pueden probar. intentar. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. So. Y no le, puedo, no le pongo el signo de pregunta aquí, porque And si se lo vuelvo a poner, en, ya lo tiene. Entonces, sí, ajá, sí. me lo va a dar incorrecto. Yo esa le hice al contrario. Se la dio, ajá, es como la ajá. otra que la podría hacer el contrario también. Ajá, esa yo le hice: dos Sam have a mustache and wear glass. Y me la contó, bueno. Ah, pues sí, yo, porque en veces el, 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 la plataforma da dos opciones o en veces solo una y es complicado. Pero sí, igual esta Christy is really gorgeous in, in her 30s. Puede ir al revés. Christy um, is in her 30s and really gorgeous. Yo la hice así y me la ponía mal a ti. Pero ver, Christy is... Ya, yeah, es que a veces que tiene que jugar con eso también, mm, Christy. Bueno. O oh, Christy is in her 30s and really, really gorgeous, gorgeous, pero no sé. Ajá. Yo así la hice. O sea, Christy ¿Qué? is in her 30s and really gorgeous. Y me la tomo buena. And really gorgeous, ya. Yeah. Ok, mm -hmm. vamos a la siguiente. ¿Cómo sería la siguiente? ¿Cuál es el sujeto de la siguiente? Oh. Cindy. 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 C
Esto primero. Lo... Ajá. Sí. Es como darle vuelta a la oración. Se puede hacer de las dos formas. Sí, yeah, thanks. Que no go down, no puedo, no puedo bajar. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, sure. <laughs> it moves, se mueve el resto. Sorry. Bye. Vamos a hacer aquí. Vamos a ver cuál es el sujeto. Pero aquí, es, ah, aquí vi, es una pregunta. Ajá, entonces, ¿con oh. qué comenzamos en una pregunta? Si usamos WH, ajá, ajá, entonces sería person es el sujeto, who's the person, ajá, ahora el sujeto, el, el verbo, sitting. who's the person, ajá. Uh -huh. Sitting. Next to. Sitting. Next to. Uh -huh. Esa es una forma. Who's the person sitting next, next. to? Jason. Next. Jason. On. On the couch. On the couch. On the couch. Uh -huh. Y ya tiene el signo de pregunta. O la otra forma sería. Who's the person? Who's the person? Who's the person? the Coach. Next to Jason. 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 Next to Next to Jason. Next to Jason. Next to Next to Jason. Next Next ¿Tenemos una siguiente parte o no? Una... Sí. Do yeah. we have a next? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is reading. Okay. Hi, Nina. Okay. So we have this. Read Sarah's email, then check four things she can do on her neighborhood. Lee el correo de Sara, marque cuatro cosas que ella puede hacer en su vecindario. And this one is uh, tricky because it's reading comprehension. Tenemos que le, uh, leer y comprender lo que leemos. Y dice, Hi Nina, guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I also like my neighborhood. There were, there are lots of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious. And I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this morning, I came to this great coffee shop across my apartment. Actually, it's an, an internet cafe. So I'm emailing you now. It's really convenient neighborhood. There is a laundromat on our street and there are some interesting stores too. One store sells lots of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. And my roommates told me there is a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dance, dancing every weekend. Come visit, Sarah. And Sarah, come visit, Sarah. Okay. So Sarah is the one who wrote the email. To, to whom? ¿A quién le escribió el correo, Sarah? 
A Nina. Nina. Okay. So, what are the things that Sara can do? Go dancing. Go dancing. Yes. She can go dancing. Go shopping. Dancing, go shopping. Where you have to choose four send emails. Send emails. Send email. mm -hmm. Wash and dry clothes. Wash and dry clothes. Wash and dry clothes. Because a laundromat, un laundromat es donde hay lavadoras y secadoras. Entonces, por eso dice que hay un laundromat. Por eso es que ella puede, puede este, lavar y secar la ropa. Y puede enviar correo porque hay un um, internet café. En no me las aceptó, teacher, ni una. Sí, cree que puede este, enviar la respuesta no para la acepta. evaluación. Ajá. Es que ese problema Ajá. tuve yo también. Yo no las pude enviar. Aunque le ponga estas cuatro. Ah, le puse es, esas fueron las primeras que elegí, pero después también ninguna de a mí no me aceptó que le seleccionara ninguna de todas las que están ahí. Va. Entonces, intente esas cuatro y si no si no les funciona, entonces mándenme un mensaje, intenten ahora si pueden. Y si no les funciona, voy a mandarles un mensaje a ellos que no les, no les está funcionando y que esas son las cuatro que son correctas. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. A mí sí me las aceptó, teacher. Go dancing, go shopping, uh -huh. send an email, wash and dry clothes. Uh -huh. Esas sí me las aceptó. Yo también no tuve problema con eso. Uh -huh. Me las aceptó correctamente. Bueno. Desde la semana pasada lo tenía terminado ya. Uh -huh. Algunas la veces semana puede pasada, ser? La, en la semana de vacaciones uh -huh. lo hice yo y a mí no me las aceptó. Ya la semana pasada ya no intenté. Uh -huh. Algunas veces uh -huh. puede ser el internet que en veces se nos cae o no está funcionando. Intente otra vez Ana, a ver qué, qué okay. sucede. You can try it again okay. to see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Okay, see you tomorrow in the last class. And you, yeah. You. Yeah, it's so sad, but it's nice because you're going to have a different teacher. Okay, good. Yeah. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everyone. Have a good night.